Right guys, so I hope you're hungry because we are going to show you the breakfast, lunch and dinner in the main dining rooms on the Discovery Princess. Yeah, so the Discovery Princess has got three main dining rooms. It's got the Skagway, which is on deck six at the midship. And then you've got the Ketchikan, which is also deck six at the aft of the ship. And then there's also Juno Restaurant, and that is also midship, but on deck five. Yes. Right. So there's three all together. Yeah. So we're going to show you, like say, a meal in each one, run you through like a sample menu, portion sizes, all those kind of things. So just heads up for your evening meal, uh, you can book on the app or you can just walk up. We'll show you how to book it on the app. So don't worry about that. And also a great thing as well is that on the day, you can look at the menu on the Princess app yep. for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So that's a really useful tool if you want to kind of think, are we eating in the main dining room tonight? Do you fancy anything that's on there? Yep. Or shall we go the buffet? So that's uh, useful to know. So let's go scuff our faces for you people. So let's head to the main dining room and start with breakfast. Right, so we're in the Skagway now, the main dining room, which is currently open for our breakfast. Check uh, your own cruise, just in case a different one's open, and it's open from 7 a.m. till 9 a.m. They've already come with teas, coffees, juice, croissants. We've got the menu. This cannot be pre-booked on the app. This is just walk-up service, so there might be a queue. We had to wait a little bit, not too long, but half of the restaurant looks like it's reserved for sweet guests. That's on one side of the restaurant, and we've had to come in the other, so bear that in mind. That if you think there's no queue, you might be in the wrong place. So what I like about the main dining rooms is that for breakfast, lunch and dinner, you can actually go onto the Princess app on the day and check see what's on the menu. And I just think that's a really useful tool because sometimes you might go down for dinner and not really fancy what's on there and it's a bit too late then. So it's good that you can pre-look and then if you don't fancy what's on there that night, you can maybe go the buffet for breakfast. So yeah, that's very handy. So I've had the lemon Danish and they really do not skim on the filling. Look at all that lemon curd. Oh, and what have you had? I've had a blueberry muffin. It's really, really nice and dead, and dead soft. It looks like it's got that crunchy topping on yeah. one bit as well, which yeah, is really nice. Yeah, it has. I really like nice. that. It's nothing like a blueberry muffin to start your morning off, right? So they do come round and ask if you want tea or coffee. I've gone for coffee and I can confirm it's actually really nice coffee. And Kev's very happy because, like a true Brit, he likes his English breakfast tea. They do uh, offer a selection of like Earl Grey and Calamile, Calamine, Calamile, yeah. however you say. They've got different options, but they give me a teapot, so I probably get a good two and a half, three cups out of there, so I haven't got to keep asking him for a, more tea, which I like, because I like a big cup of tea. Right, so he's come now. I'm glad I had pancakes. Stacey's asked one. Sorry ask him for some if you want some. The menu um, is pretty standard. It's not the biggest breakfast menu, but it's just pick and mix and match whatever you want. I think they had two kind of set breakfasts where they did an English breakfast and they did a fruit filled papaya. So if you fancy being healthy, but I'm not definitely being healthy on this cruise. I'm not healthy in general really, but I've gone for pancakes, lots of bacon, sausage, hash browns, bit disappointed it's a hash brown we were hoping for like a Denny's diner style hash brown because we love those oh and then some scrambled egg and a sliver of strawberry for some reason right so I know it's we've done this video as well so we can show you a portion size because I know when you can mix and match off the menus you do wonder if I ordered a bacon or a hash brown how many are we gonna get so this is just an example to show you as well so I've gone for a plain omelette some bacon and hash browns so you get the one hash brown two slices of bacon i ended up with a third because i had some of kev's and then that's like the typical omelette size that you're gonna get and so then you had a little bit of my scrambled egg as well i had a little bit of kev's scrambled egg as well and i'll be having a little bit of uh, kev's pancakes as well <laughs> you can have the mint off it <laughs> thanks so yeah if you can just look at ours and then you can get a good idea of portion size I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, so I could have asked for more, but I think I paced myself. So I forgot I ordered toast as well, so that's just come. But I still want some of Kev's pancakes as well. Does the toast feel warm? It's literally just come. Yeah, it does, yeah. 
I'll eat it quick before it goes cold. Just to show you, these pancakes are not like the tiny ones that you get out of some cruise lines. They're proper thick American pancakes and they're so fluffy. And they even give you loads of syrup as well. And just to let you know, I ended up getting three and a half cups of tea out of this. And I'm kidding you not, they must have asked me about six times if I wanted a coffee. So yeah, they're just constantly coming around, do you want this, do you want that? So yeah, absolutely amazing. So that's breakfast all polished off now. Service, absolutely amazing. Food, absolutely delicious. Like Kev said before, not the biggest choice compared to some of the cruises that we've been on, but again, it's whether it's quantity over quality, and this was definitely quality. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Full up now, you Kev? Yeah, yeah, I think, we, <laughs> I think we'll be all right coming back in a few hours though. Yeah, I was going to say, because you're going to see us next in the main dining room when we film and explain about the options for lunch. So, all this eating we've got to do for you guys, eh? I hope you feel very, very sorry for us. See you at lunch. Right, so we're back in the main dining room now for lunch. A few hours have passed, by the way. I know to you guys it seems like seconds, but honestly, a few hours have passed. So we are back in the Skagway restaurant because that's the only main dining room open for lunch aboard our cruise out of the three main dining rooms. So just whether that's the same all the time, I'm not sure, but check your Princess app or your there's a paper copy in your cabin of the Princess daily schedule and it tells you all on there what restaurants are available for lunch, breakfast and dinner. Opening times for lunch in the main dining room are 11.30 a.m. till 1 p.m. So you've got a, an hour and a half there and you just turn up, you don't have to make any reservation, you just join the, there could be a queue when you get here, so other than that, you just, whenever there's a table available, they'll just get you seated straight away. Okay, so I'll just run you over the menu quickly. So this is just an example. Uh, they do offer brunch, so if you did the uh, sleep in and fancied a bit of breakfast kind of food, they do like an eggs benedict or a French toast there. They do soup, salads and starters. They've also got a selection of burgers. They do do a soup and salad kind of combo there. They also have some signature pastas. And then they have like a more kind of plated, cooked main course. So if you fancied like a more of a dinner style lunch. And then they've got a few desserts there as well. So they do bring a little basket of bread. It's not like uh, some of the cruises where they bring it and you you know pick and choose. They just give you uh, the bread of the day, shall we say. Looks very nice. Uh, I am saving mine for my main, but if two disappear, Stacey's chomped hers down. The only problem is they bring you then four pieces, whereas if they came round, you'd say, can I have one please? But oh well, I love bread, so I'll eat it. And I know in the comments you're going to say, you don't have to eat it, but we are not about food waste on this channel. No, that's our excuse anyway. Whatever they place on the table, we have to eat it, sorry. So the starters are here. I've gone for the calamari with the marinara sauce. Well, we're going to split the starters to be fair. Yeah, and then I've got the grilled vegetables and uh, cured meats, which looks very nice. And I'm glad I saved some of my bread because I thought it might need some bread. So that's my excuse for not munching my bread straight away. So it comes with, looks like some grilled courgette, grilled peppers, and maybe some grilled aubergine or eggplant, depending on where you're watching this. And then three different little bits of uh, cured meat there. It all looks very nice. Yeah, so we do, this kind of stuff does need a bit of crusty bread with it. It's nice because like the grilled veg, got like nice olive oil on them, and that salty meat just helps uh, bring it alive a little bit. Right, so I'm gonna try the calamari. You get quite a decent size. They are small pieces of calamari, but there's quite a few there. I can already tell when I put my fork in to pick it up that it's real. it's like a really nice light batter that's really nice it's not it hasn't got a rubbery texture and like I said because it's got the light batter on the outside it's just really really nice it goes nice together so the mains are here so I went for the papadali noodles with a chicken ragu and they've put me loads of extra parmesan on just and some fresh cracked black pepper and then I've gone for the cheeseburger now it does come with fries so I'll just show you roughly what a portion of fries you could expect to get with your burger. There isn't, if that's not enough for you, there is an option to order a separate plate of fries and it's, they say it's a large plate of fries. Shockingly, 
yes I do feel okay but I didn't order the plate of fries as much as I wanted to this is enough okay so some lovely big thick noodles we have actually seen them making fresh pasta on boards I think it was near one of the specialty restaurants but it's got a, a lovely red sauce on it plenty of little chunks of chicken in there that pasta is really nice mmm gives uh, MSC's pasta a run for its money really oh and they're an Italian group exactly line. oh <laughs> now personal preference definitely get the extra parmesan if you're like me and love a bit of cheese in all honesty you put there was already some on you put two extra spoons on I could probably go for two more I do like cheese so I'm gonna try the burger it's quite a thick burger patty so yeah I'd say it's more like a quarter pounder there is onion tomato and lettuce on there and a slice of cheddar cheese and he did come round with the tomato ketchup bottle and put me some on for me so thanks so here goes that's actually a really really nice burger it's nice and juicy and it's a bit flame grilled on top now when I ordered it, he didn't ask me how I, how I wanted it cooked. It has come, I would say, it is a little bit pink in the middle, so I'd say it's probably medium. If you're fussy over that, maybe ask them for well done. And the bap is nice, you'd say it's like a brioche bun. So yeah, a really nice burger. Top tip, if you have the pasta, make sure you save at least one one bit of your bread to mop up the sauce because that sauce was absolutely delicious i've eaten all mine i am quite full as well so i'm glad i didn't have the extra plate of large chips yeah especially because i already know what you're probably going to have for your pudding as well oh i already know what i'm having yeah and you are right i know what you would have thought i'm having <laughs> so desserts are here now i've gone for the fudge cake and i've asked for some ice cream on the side I highly recommend doing that when you're on these cruise ships. It's always nice to have some ice cream with your dessert because he doesn't come with it. So yeah, ask for that separately. And can I just point out that my dessert is a lot smaller than Stacey's fudge cake. I, I think <laughs> okay, just pointing this out. But I've just had a sneaky taste of this pistachio gelato and it's really nice. It's really strong. I'm glad I had it now. So I'm going to try the fudge cake. Double chocolate fudge cake. Oh, that's really soft as well. Because in my defence, that's why I that's why I ordered the ice cream, just in case the cake is a bit dry and you can, you know, moisten it up a bit. But oh, I don't think it needs it. Mm, that is a really nice gooey fudge cake. There's so much chocolate sauce in the middle. I think I'm going to eat that on its own and then eat the ice cream separately. Best of both worlds, then. So what did I have? Cherry trifle. That's what I had. Oh, that's a bit different. It said it had pound cake in it, which I think is like a... Is that like a dense sponge cake? I know pound cake's very American, we don't really get that back in uh, Britain. It's nice, it's a, I think it's like a cherry ice cream, uh, cherry jelly. And then it's just like a bit of custard and uh, the pound cake. It's nice though. It's a very like Kool-Aid-y flavoured cherry. It's not like a, a real cherry, it's like a processed Kool-Aid cherry. Artificial cherry. That's the one. <laughs> we are stuffed. But once again, food was great, service was great. So uh, I don't know which restaurant we're going in next, but we will see you for dinner. So we're in the main dining room for dinner now. The restaurant that we're in is the Ketchikan. Now I'm just gonna explain how it works for dinner because it is a little bit more different than breakfast and lunch. We pre-booked all the restaurants with a set time every single night that we wanted to eat at before we came on the cruise and we did this roughly two weeks before that we were able to do it via the princess app so because you can look at a full itinerary with princess before you come on the cruise we could look at what entertainment and things were on and fit it around that so we made reservations for every single night of the cruise so those times that we booked before the cruise we have had to stick to them while we've been on the cruise if we want to eat in the restaurant just because the ship is full and we went to change it one night we went to edit the time and we couldn't because the ship was full so we had to stick to that time if your ship isn't full you might be able to make a reservation on the ship via your app but like i said that depends on whether the ship's full or not so if you've made no reservations before you come and your ship is full and it's not letting you to do it on the app the only other option you've got is to turn up in the main dining room of your choice which has been the Ketchikan or the Skagway while we've been on the cruise. The third restaurant, the Juno, a waiter told us the other day is you can't reserve a time slot in there 
they only open it depending on the situation with the crew so some days they might open it some days they might not it depends on if the ship's full how late you've been at the ports that day that kind of thing so it's not a guarantee that the juno restaurant will always be open so the only other option would be to turn up at one of the restaurants and you would have what's classed as a non-reservation so that could mean having to queue i'm not sure if they then let you know via a buzzer or maybe your app or they tell you to come back at a specific time but you won't be seated there and then so just bear that in mind because even with a reservation we have had to wait in a line for maybe five minutes and that's with a reservation so without a re reservation you'll be waiting longer so the Skagway restaurant is open 5 till 9 30 and the Ketchikan is open 5 till 9 and so is the Juno but like I said, if the Juno restaurant is open on your cruise. Just a heads up, if you want to see what is available each night in the dining room on the morning of the day you want to go to the particular restaurant, go on your app, uh, I will put it on the screen, you can find the menu on the app and it tells you what is available that night. So you can have a look at it and think, if I'm not much for that, I might skip it maybe go to a specialty, maybe go to the buffet. So I'll just give you a heads up there and I'll show you on the app. And it is the same menu for all three restaurants. Yes. Tonight is Italian night as a recording. So there's mostly Italian dishes there, but they also have the princess favorites, which is the same every night. It's always shrimp cocktail, Caesar salad, French onion soup, uh, the Alaskan sockeye salmon, and the grilled New York strip steak. They are always on the menu. You can pay for uh, an eight ounce fillet, a six to seven ounce lobster tail, or you can mix and match and have both. So whether you pick to eat in the same restaurant every night or you switch it up a bit, you aren't guaranteed a set table. Now, I have heard, we aren't bothered particularly where we sit, but I have heard a few people go to be sit, seated by a waiter and then say, oh, we normally sit by a window or we normally sit over there. They do try their best to accommodate that but you've got to understand that nothing's guaranteed and again a lot of that would depend on how full the ship is at the time but the obviously if somebody's eating at a particular table that you had the night before you can't sit there if they're eating at it can you so every night they will bring you a glass of iced water and then they will bring you your own private little basket of bread nobody comes around with a big bowl full and you pick them so you always get a couple of different breads. There's always like a white roll. And then tonight looks a bit of a different roll. I don't know if that's like a cheese one there. And then you get your butter to go with it as well. And then drink wise, they will ask for your cabin number so they know whether you've got the drinks package or if you haven't and charge accordingly or not charge you, depending on your situation. Right, so the first course is here. I've had the mushroom and truffle arancini there. So I've had the shrimp cocktail. They look really, really nice, juicy prawns. I do love a good shrimp, so let's see if it's any good. Really nice, really fishy, really juicy. That's a really nice shrimp. So portion-wise, there's about six shrimp in there. But don't forget that as long as you eat these, you could ask for two of those if you like, as long as you don't waste them. I've just cut into one of these arancini bowls and they are so crispy. They're like panko levels of crisp. They've come with like a, a tomato sauce and then like a cheese sauce. I can't remember if he said it was a ricotta sauce. Now I'm not exactly hungry, but I could definitely eat about 12 of these. They are delicious. Right, so I've gone for the uh, seared scallops and prawns and because it's Italian night, it comes on this bed of polenta. Now, that's four of those prawns and then four huge scallops. I was not expecting it to be this big, but I am not gonna put my face at big seafood. Them scallops are nice. We're at Stacey's already reviewed the prawns. The prawns have been lovely on this ship. And that polenta's got like a bit of a garlicky sauce on top of it. Mm. It's a nice light meal. So it's only appropriate on an Alaskan cruise to have Alaskan salmon as one of my main dinners. So this is Alaskan sockeye salmon. It's with a red wine sauce and then it's just on a bed of mashed potatoes and a few bits of veg on there. I wouldn't normally eat the skin on salmon but it seems really really crispy 
Oh my goodness, look how pink that salmon is. That is the pinkiest looking salmon I think I've ever seen. It looks so fresh. Right, let me try. That is absolutely beautiful. For a ship in just the main dining room, this isn't a specialty fish restaurant. That is absolutely, it's just crumbly. It's like so fishy and fresh, juicy. <laughs> absolutely delicious i really really recommend the salmon right so i'm going to quickly start with mine because i've got a souffle and i don't want it just collapse on me before i try so so he said it was a chocolate hazel oh my god that's red hot a chocolate hazelnut one and he's just i will put it on now filled it with a vanilla custard so uh it smells delicious already and considering i'm not that hungry i think i'm going to polish it up mm, yeah who else do you think is going to like that, Kev? Not you, you'd hate this. Hate <laughs> it with a passion. I think it's, um, it's thank yeah, you. it's, oh, thank you very much. There we go. Another, another Coke for us there. It's, um, it's a very, if you never had a souffle, it's just so light and airy. The top is a crust and then the rest just melts on the tongue. Definitely, definitely get that. So I had the salmon because it was Alaskan salmon and dessert wise I've had the Princess Love Boat Dream because we're on a princess ship so I had to have that. It's really cute though, it's in the shape of a heart but it is a raspberry mousse on a shortbread biscuit. Was it raspberry and chocolate? Uh, no, let us look at the menu. It's a very long list of things in this dessert. Layers of chocolate raspberry mousse and vanilla raspberry cream on a shortbread cookie base. It's the coolest name of a dessert I've ever had. Well, some shortbread. <laughs> My shortbread like fell off the plate and gone. I'll pop it on top. Tea goes. The name alone just sells it to me, I'm not gonna lie, and the, the look of it. But no, it's really nice. Again, it's not like a thick chocolate cake because I am quite full. So it's just like a nice light dessert. So that is your breakfast, lunch and dinner in the main dining rooms. How to go about booking them, yada yada yada. We <laughs> will be doing a buffet video for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then there's a lot of other eating places. We will show you those in our ship tour video. Yeah, I was going to say there's a few more um, included in the price to come on the Discovery Princess. There is Gigi's Pizza, which we showed you that in the embarkation yes. video. So that was another included place to eat as well. Mm -hmm. And that is in the name, it did pizza. Yes. Um, but we really hope it's been useful for you. It's our first time on the Discovery Princess. It's our first time cruising with Princess. Yeah. And like all cruise lines do things differently. So we've learned along the way as well. Yep. We hoped that we've helped you as we've learned it as well. So yeah, it's just about making your holiday or vacation on a Discovery Princess as easy as it can be. Exactly. <laughs> so there's going to be loads more Discovery stuff. Either it's come out. I'm freezing. Or it's out now. I know it's pretty cold. <laughs> we're, I'm just on, we're just on the top deck. Yeah, so uh, we're going to hurry up because we are. <laughs> Freezing goals, plenty of discovery content yeah. there. More Go food. watch them, more food, more everything about the ship. So hit that <laughs> subscribe button, give us a like, leave us a comment. Very quick comment because we're going to do a very quick uh, <laughs> end to this say. video now. So, it up, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next Fancy time. Nice cream. Bye. Bye. <laughs>